Hey yo, everybody, it's Synchros here, and welcome back to another episode of Coaster Spotlight. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at three architectural themed blueprints. So stay tuned and let's dive on in. All right, everyone, well, before we get underway, I'm just going to do a quick little introduction of myself as I've been seeing a lot of comments wondering who the hell am I? So my name is Synchros, and I've been a part of the Channel 5 Discord community for a little over two and a half years now. I pretty much started getting into Planet Coaster from the Channel 5 gaming community and the videos that Joni had been doing with the spotlights. I was like, that is super cool. Stroke my ego a bit, you know, get my stuff shown off to a large audience that most of us wouldn't have the opportunity to have otherwise and so yeah I was building most of that time and me and Johnny we just started playing games together one night and we kind of got the chatting he was looking to uh, having some different creators on the show doing actual spotlights and helping out on the channel and I just recently started dabbling with video editing and yeah we talked for a little while and eventually he handed me over a, a couple of parks to do and we started there did some parks then obviously some time had passed, Johnny was taking a little bit of a break there, so not much was happening. And then when he came back, we started chatting about Coaster Spotlight 2.0. So yeah, we threw some ideas back and forth. He got a lot of other people involved with getting some ideas together. Uh, Zelazor definitely was one of them. Like he's start, starting to make some videos now. Spoiler. Yeah, so it's really great that we can all have the opportunity to look at your guys' awesome creations. Because I don't really build a whole lot anymore. I just don't really, uh, I don't just haven't really had the itch to do it out of ideas kind of on a dry spell as far as building goes and I still really love the community and love taking part in something and this is my way of doing so but all right everyone without further ado let's jump on into these blueprints all right everyone first up we have the drunken mouse submitted by Mabinogi one of our discord advanced builders and they say the drunken mouse is my first attempt at creating a coaster I could save as a blueprint without being so heavily re reliant on terrain modifications Relatively new at Planet Coaster, I'm heavily into the Tuscan and Mediterranean styles. So I replicated the front facade of the Fandaco de Turchi. I know you didn't pronounce that correct. Thank you. I definitely probably didn't. For Fandaca, Fandaco de Turchi. Nailed it. Which sits on the Grand Canal of Venice. This building used... This building used to be a palace, then a place for visiting dignitaries, then a ghetto for <laughs> Ottoman residents of Venice with a market and with a market and warehouse. Today houses the Museum of Natural History of Venice, where it houses an indoor vineyard and a mouse family constantly getting into the wine storage. You need to use a four meter wide queue and it should be relatively simple to follow the path marked by the railings as it winds down through the vineyard. My favorite view is to ride a seat is to ride seat view during nighttime as it is the best ambience. But daytime is fine as well. I, I find cinematic does not work well for this type of coaster. Chase is an excellent alternative. All right, so here we are. We got a wooden wild mouse mouse hunt coaster with a 4.36 excitement, a 5.12 fear, and a 3.12 nausea. Alright, that was super cool. Got a jam packed full of coaster in here. Let's just put that on pause mode while we peek around. These are a tough one for me. Like, I really like the idea behind them, but for them to really 
look awesome in my opinion. It's just putting them in a big square building doesn't quite do it for me. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to try and say what I'm trying to say without taking away from what's done here. Because this is not easy to do in fitting coaster and stuff like this inside of a building. Um, like you even have it coming out onto the balcony. It's like you haven't interacting with the building very well. I just wish there was a little more shape in here, I guess. Maybe had some columns or something on the inside just to break it up a little bit. It's a little bit repetitive and monotonous with all the lanterns just going down, like obviously just duplicated and placed all the way down. Same with this, like just throwing in a little bit more, I guess some de extra details on the wall, some half columns that are pushed up against the wall. It's, it's a hard one because I mean, you have the dividers for the floors and stuff like that, whatever those are called. And it, like it's really nice. And I think, let's see what you're at for pieces. So you were at 3,200 pieces there. You definitely have some room to add a little bit more to it just to break it up a bit or even making one of these interior walls a different color. Yeah, I don't know. Um, you said this is based off of, I'm not gonna try and say the building name again, off a of building in Venice. And it does definitely have that kind of grease sort of color scheme going on in here. So, I mean, he did good. I just wish it wasn't quite as repetitive as it is. It's yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's, I can't, I don't know if I can pinpoint it anymore. But overall, this is a really cool submission and definitely unique in its own regard. Let's take a look on the outside real quick. On the front. Ooh, nice sign. A for effort there. That looks really good. I love that. Look at that. Most is getting hammered on some wine. Good backstory too. I really enjoyed that. But overall, solid submission here. And we're off to the next one. Next we have Accelerator Roller Coaster submitted by Gio Pinto 100. One of our subscribers, I think, as I cannot find you in Discord, and they say, Hey Johnny, this ride was updated a little because I really want theming to it. Anyways, Johnny, this coaster is a lapping triple launch coaster with flames and sound effects. And, well, this coaster is maybe meant to be themed the car workshop. It's a rush. It's a rush, it's accelerating, and it's a wild ride off. So what are you waiting for, Johnny? Hold on tight and get ready to blast off in a rush on Accelerator. Alrighty, everyone, we have Accelerator, a Typhoon Bar Kest with a 7.55 excitement, a 4.90 fear, and a 2.10 nausea. That's pretty fun. How many times did that roller coaster loop? Is that three times? So, a little bit of feedback. Right there, I think two laps would have been more than enough. Um, also, what, what does that do to your... So if you do lapping... Ah, that's why. So if you do lapping, you can only have one train on there. So, yeah, I would definitely bring that down to two laps. Because with you only being able to use one car, your capacity is very low. And yeah, I don't know, I just think two is more than enough for a track of this length. Um, as far as theming goes, I feel like you could have pushed this factory theming quite a bit further than you did here. Uh, lots of really neat things you can do with, with buildings, especially you can find, say, a metal pipe, metal pipe piece. Sink that into your corner a little bit so just the corner of the metal pipe is exposed and you can line all the corners of your building with a metal pipe for just using as an example. And just doing little things like that adds on to your building so stinking much. Because right now it just kind of looks like a boring single colored cube with a roof and this. So I mean, as of right now, it's it's pretty uh, 
yeah, it's, it's not trying to be rude, but it's pretty, it's a pretty boring building. <laughs> um, and just adding little things like capping off your uh, walls here, just putting something to make it contrast a little better, you know? Um, and just as some ideas, you could have put this going right into a smokestack or something like that. Even if it was just more of this when the circle piece is going up and you just had it cut out so the coaster could fit in there or have it a square down here with the smokestack coming out. You know, just really push that factory setting a little further than you did here. Um, but yeah, other than that, the track design, it was pretty fun. Uh, a little fast and jerky on the very first roll here. So yeah, you're pulling some pretty heavy Gs there, but I mean, it wasn't terrible, I guess. It just felt jerky as, uh, for the on-ride experience. But yeah, I mean, overall, fun creation. You don't have a rank, so I can't really know what the base your skills off of. Or at least I couldn't find a rank if you are in our Discord. I, I tried looking up from your email, and you just did not exist in our Discord members list. So if you are in there and you have changed your email or name, let one of us know so we can get that sorted out in the rank resolution tab. But overall, still a really fun ride here by, by Geo Pinto 100 Sorry if I slaughtered that name, but yeah, good job here today. Off to the next one. We have Trebuche, Carts and Coasters, submitted by Colin Zinkin, one of our Discord expert builders, and he says, Hey Johnny, you wanted more carts so I can bind a compact Carts and Coasters blueprint. It's a modern facility inside an alpine setting. Sorry that I chose this as a coaster spotlight, but in the track rides, there was no options for carts. I hope the track is hard enough. Now go out there and drift some mad corners. Thanks for the feature. Loads of love from the Netherlands. Alrighty, everyone, we have Trebuche. Trebuche. I don't know how to say that word. Dive Atheon Coaster with a 5.92 excitement of 3.93 fear and a 1.40 nausea. There's a look at the rest of the results if you want to see them, and let's get on in. Alright everyone, as a little bonus here today, I did set up the queue for the go-karts because these look really fun and I want to give them a go, which you cannot do without people on them. So, looks like we got some carts getting in now, let's see where we stack up. Oh my god, I don't know what's happening. I have no idea if I'm going forward. I think I am, okay. This is really hard. Oh my. Talk about drifting some mad corners. Okay. Well, that was just awful. Wow. I'm not good at go-karts. That's probably my first time actually trying to drive the go-karts, so we'll excuse that effort. Really, really fun track, actually. All right. So let's talk about the blueprint as a whole. This thing looks really nice. I think this was sent in before we added the theming option to the submission form and we were looking at it and it kind of had an arch architectural modern sort of vibe looking at the building. So that's where we did toss it, but it does definitely have an alpine feel as well. 
Um, yeah, overall, this is a really, really nice blueprint. I mean, as far as the roller coaster goes, that wasn't anything like too crazy, you know, just pretty standard coaster layout as far as it's concerned. Kind of, I would almost call that realistic, actually, the speed it carried and the length of it just for a small little dive coaster in a park. And I really like the way it's wrapping around the go-kart tracks and you really blended everything together well. I really like what you did here with all the concrete coming up and around using my favorite adventure pieces, which are good for so stinking much. I love it. Um, yeah, sorry camera's going nuts yeah i don't know i don't really have a whole lot to say about this it's just an overall really solid blueprint um i know let's uh take a look at this guy at night time Ooh, really nice lighting nice and subtle not overpowering at all the red is a bit much on the glowy sign i don't know if that could have been a dumbed down red but then you kind of start turning pink when you do that so yeah as far as selling your theme goes uh, Gio, Gio Pinto, so if you take a look at uh, Colin Zinkin, what he had done, he didn't really even, like, I mean, uh, he did he did do a lot of work, don't get me wrong, but what he added in here just to sell it a little more, he's doing kind of a modern alpine theme, right? And even just putting down some concrete barriers, like, these, this isn't like anything way over the top at all, and it's really easy to do, and you just start doing it, and you kind of start, I don't know, it just starts filling up the space really, really nicely, then you throw in some plants and some trees and some rocks and you just really start to sell that uh that vibe right so yeah if you just kind of keep on adding bits and pieces here and there it's really easy to keep on adding even more and more and eventually end up with something hearty and full like what colin zinkin has done over here Ooh, and i really like this rock work too really good stuff i really like it when people put in uh these those are the uh the desert rocks i think aren't they uh let's switch it back to daytime here grasslands yeah really nice use of the rocks here yeah, overall, Colin Zinkin, this is beautiful. The colors are great. The blue really goes well with the alpine kind of look you have going on. It contrasts really nicely. It's a really, really beautiful blueprint. So good job. All right, everyone. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode of Coaster Spotlight. If you like this episode, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to do so and hit the bell because we have more awesome Planet Coaster content in the works especially coming into the fall months we have been chatting about some ideas no spoilers for that though you're gonna have to wait and see and if you'd like to join our planet coaster community there will be a link for that down in the description below there's lots of friendly faces in there and lots of awesome creators to get some feedback from and that about wraps it up for this episode we'll see you all in the next one bye now